Hey guys, and welcome back to the vlog channel. Welcome back to my messy closet. My goal for this weekend is actually to clean this, organize it. Happens to me every year, like four times a year I go through it because eventually it just always ends up getting like this. I cannot wait one day, hopefully, to have a house with a walk-in closet so that I don't have to do this. I mean, I'm super grateful regardless, but yeah, that's definitely one of my goals. But anyways, I'm about to go out to my hair appointment. I'm about to get a haircut. Let's do a little before shot. So obviously my hair is still short. Hold on. I'm gonna close this. This is what my hair looks like right now. So I feel like it's like at that awkward kind of length. Like it's not super, super short. I mean, it's short. Like, you know, you get me. If you have short hair, you know what I mean. It's not like super short, but it's not like long. I don't know. I feel like when I straighten it, it looks worse versus just having it in it like this, which is like my natural hair. It's like a wave. It's more wavy in the back. But I don't know. I'm just kind of like, eh. Like I just want like a shorter, cuter cut whenever I get it like shorter i always also get it thinned out and i feel like it helps for when i straighten it to not like poof out and look so like boxy so yeah i'm gonna go where i always go of course jackie prodego de spa i'll leave the info down below but yeah i mean i feel like it doesn't look bad like this like when there's like a wave to it but when i straighten it it doesn't look good at all so yep that's what i'm gonna go do makeup look is coming soon this will probably be up next week or the week after it's just like my everyday makeup routine which i know i've shown you guys my everyday makeup routine before but whenever i do videos like this i like to not so much show you like the makeup i mean yeah the makeup but more so like the products that i'm loving you know what i mean anyways let's do a little ootd um let's go to the beauty room instead and uh yeah i have to <laughs> fold this laundry before i head out here's a little simple ootd so I'm just wearing this tank, which I think I got this from Target, I'm pretty sure. And then over top, I'm wearing like this oversized army jacket kind of thing. I got this from TJ Maxx last year. And then I'm wearing my favorite jeans, which are Kenzie jeans. And these are from TJ Maxx. So just really simple. My belt, I think this is from either TJ Maxx or Ross. It's just like super cheap. And then I'm probably just going to wear flip flops. It's like kind of warm outside it's like i think in the 70s or so but there's like this really amazing breeze so i just decided to be a little fall and wear a cute little jacket so yeah i'm gonna get my hair done i cannot wait i'm so excited current favorite lip color i just used this like a few days ago in a video and i can't stop wearing it so it's kind of faded right now on my lips but this is what i'm wearing the ardell vinyl vixen lip lacquer this one is in the shade soft touch it's like the most perfect like thick pigmented gloss it's so so good i don't know why i'm shaking i had coffee earlier but it's amazing so i have a lip liner arm right now i'm wearing alamar cosmetics dulce lip liner and then i just put this right over top look at that color it's basically like sorry i'm like looking at myself doing it but it's basically like a super pigmented gloss it kind of looks like you have a lipstick on and then you put some gloss over top i also have a little unboxing of some stuff which i will show you later when i get back just some stuff that i picked up myself so i'll do a little haul okay i'm back this is my hair i love it doesn't this kind of look like a wig a little bit like a little bit but i'm obsessed with it it is very short like it's like very short but my hair grows so quick that i don't want to have to go every month to get my hair cut so i go like every two months two and a half the last time i went i think was like right at the beginning of august so yeah every two months i go just because my hair does grow so fast i don't do anything for my hair to grow fast honestly i don't want it to grow so fast it just does i think maybe it's because i drink a lot of water i have no idea all i do is take a multivitamin every day which i told you guys before she also did thin it out so it just feels so good my hair is also super super thick which is like super annoying i know first world problems but when it's growing out and it's so thick it just it doesn't look good so i'm really loving it yeah anyways i'm gonna not play with it so much i know that's annoying but um i'm pretty hungry i had leftovers for lunch and i know hector just ate leftovers for dinner and i kind of don't want leftovers again so i think i might get sushi because i'm obsessed that's my guilty pleasure so i might get some sushi maybe i'll get some spring rolls and call it a night i'm gonna i don't know i'm gonna see what hector's doing i'm gonna see what we're doing tonight new merch link will be below <laughs> just kidding but how cute is this case with this pop socket i am obsessed so the case was actually sent to me from Casetify. I really, really like it. I love the pink. And then I had to put my pop socket like all the way down here, which I know looks really strange. I usually put it in the middle, but I don't want to cover up 
my name. So the pop socket I think is from Best Buy or like Walmart. It's like super cheap. So hey guys, good morning. So it is the next day. Hector and I got our coffee. I know. Very bad habit still, but I'm gonna get some iced coffee this weekend so I can do it myself at home. I was just being extra again this week, but we're about to make some banana bread. So we have our flour, we have our bananas. The more ripe and brown they are, the better, cause like the sweeter the banana bread's gonna be. Coconut oil, pink salt, cane sugar, baking soda, chocolate chips, walnuts. I'll leave a recipe down below for you guys if you're interested in this banana bread. It's so good and it's like perfect in the mornings with coffee or just in general, it's delish. Handsome boy, Bernard. You already had a treat, sweet boy. Mashing up the bananas. Mmm, look how good it looks. Oh mm, my gosh, you guys have to make this. It's so moist, so sweet, so good. Bernard, he's been so close to me. He always does this every time I'm watching a show. So, it's like 5.30, much later in the day. We just got in from the outlets. It was crazy busy. That's why I didn't vlog in there. There was just way too many people, but I got a couple of things only, but I'm still gonna show you, of course. Some stuff from H&M, and then I also have some packages that we can open up together. Some stuff is PR, and then some stuff I ordered myself. So I guess we can start with the boxes first. Okay, so first I made an order on Elf's website because I have a new favorite pair of lashes. So these are the e.l.f. faux mink lashes and these are in the style drama queen. You guys, these are my new favorite lashes. They're $5, they are so pretty, like just perfect for every single day. I'm gonna be doing my everyday makeup routine soon, probably next week or the week after, and I'm gonna be featuring them in them because and these are gonna be in the video. This is like one of the main reasons why, I mean besides the face makeup, but I was so inspired to film an everyday makeup look after wearing these because they're perfect for every day. I'll see if I have a picture that I can insert here or like a video like from Instagram stories of me and this is what I'm wearing and they're so good. I was actually wearing these yesterday when I was gonna go get my hair done. They're amazing, they're perfect for every day. They're not too dramatic but like they're full and they're fluffy and they're just amazing. So I ordered eight pairs because that's like the max limit. I wanted to order more honestly because they're only $5 and you can reuse them, but I might put in another order eventually. But yeah, I ordered these with my own money. That's literally all that I got from Elf. And then I got these from Amazon. So my friend Danielle was telling me about the makeup eraser. So I was looking it up on Amazon. You can also get it on Sephora, but these came up like suggested. I was gonna get that. And then people were saying in the reviews that the makeup eraser is basically just a makeup face cleansing cloth kind of thing, like a microfiber cloth. So I was like, okay, let me try these out then because they were cheaper and you get, how many cloths in here? I think you get five or so. So this is what they look like. You do have to, of course, wash them before putting them on your face, but they're just really great for like taking off your makeup because you guys know like, I'll usually use like a makeup remover, you know, cleanse my face once or twice and then I'll go in with like some makeup wipes to remove the eye makeup or any excess face makeup that I have. But I figured these would be better. That way I don't have to go through so many wipes and you know, it's just better because it's just obviously reusable and I can just wash it. So I'm gonna wash these, test them out and I'll keep you guys posted. They were super affordable. I think they were like definitely under $15, so. Got these, let me know if you guys have tried these. What are your thoughts? Because I've seen like the makeup eraser all over Instagram and I was really curious to try it out. And like I said, I was gonna get it on Amazon, but then I saw these and I was like, let me try these out first. Because if it's like the same thing, then why spend $20 on the makeup eraser when I could just get these? for like less than 20, so. I'm cheap when it comes to certain things. Like certain things I can spend a lot of money on. Other things I'm like, give me a better deal. Then I got some stuff from Sephora. I literally didn't get much. The main reason I wanted to shop on Sephora was for the new Smashbox foundation, which I actually did try like two days ago. Let me tell you, we'll get to that. Okay. First of all, Bite Beauty lipstick in the shade Honeycomb. These are my favorite lipsticks and the specific shade Honeycomb is like my absolute favorite color. Apparently these are getting discontinued. So I ordered three because I truly love this lipstick. It's like everything. They're only $13 now. So if you've been wanting to try it, it's literally 50% off. I think it's the best time to try it. It looks like nothing. Like it just looks like a regular nude pink lipstick, but this is so long wearing. It's so creamy. It feels so good on the lips. Like I am just so obsessed with this color like it just doesn't look like anything but when you ha actually have it on it's like so so good so i ordered three i might honestly might order more apparently bite beauty is going completely vegan so they're like reformulating revamping their products or i don't know about everything but that's what i've heard from you guys so i had to get three of these so 
Then I also did get the Fenty Brow MVP Ultra Fine Brow Pencil and Styler. It just looks like this. Figured I would just test it out. I do get PR from Fenty, but to be quite honest with you guys, I don't depend on PR like to try out new makeup for you guys. Like sometimes I get PR from certain brands, sometimes I don't, so I'm like, I'm not gonna like wait around, you know? Like I don't like to expect it from brands. And I love Fenty, so I don't mind like buying their products, but this looks like really cute packaging and you guys know i love brow pencils so i'm like let me give this a try and see if it's any good i also just made an order on ColourPop too and i stocked up on their brow pencil a lot of brands are doing this where they have like this really little tiny funky brush on the end which personally i'm not a big fan of i'd rather just have a spoolie but we'll test it out we'll see if it's good i got this one in the shade i think black black brown got the new smashbox foundation this is their studio skin full coverage 24 hour foundation this is what it looks like. I will say it is very, very long wearing. This one's in the shade 3.02 medium undertone neutral olive. Color is way too dark for me at the moment. I'm definitely like way too light for it. But I was able to make it work, you know, with bronzer and concealer and everything. This foundation, I used way too much. Like a little bit of this goes a long way. This is full coverage, like heavy duty. The amount that I put on was just excessive. So it was super cakey and thick on my face throughout the day. But this is definitely full coverage. I feel like you just need the one little droplet to cover your entire face to really get that full coverage look from what i used this is definitely more of a matte foundation i definitely want to keep using it with like less product because it was like really full coverage which i do like but whoo it was thick it was definitely like a thicker formula so <laughs> and right here that's actually my bad it says studio tip a little goes a long way it literally says it on the packaging so that was my bad but definitely full coverage as hook and then this was actually based off of one of your recommendations you told me about the Corez Reek yogurt foaming cream cleanser I was like okay I'll give it a try I'm all about trying out new cleansers, so I was like, all right, fine, I'll get it. So that's what it looks like. Yeah, Greek yogurt. It's like one of the only brands that has like actual Greek yogurt in their skincare, which is like very beneficial apparently for your skin. So I was like, all right, I'll try it. I'm super easy to like convince. Okay, we just have two more packages to get through. I think the next one is from LA Girl. Ooh, looks like they have two new eyeshadow palettes. Wow, these feel super heavy. Holy cow. So this one is the Fierce and Wild eyeshadow palette. I have two of their other ones that look like this, like similar packaging, really, really nice. I believe these retail for $15 and like this feels like a high-end palette. Then you open it up and you get, oh, there I am, hey. These are what the colors look like. So pretty. Fierce and Wild palette. So this is what that one looks like. So gorgeous. We have Joa Beauty, which is, I believe this brand is exclusive to CVS, I'm pretty sure. This is so cute. So look at all these lipsticks. Oh my goodness. Shocked, I've never tried their lipsticks. I don't think I think only their liquid lipsticks. So let's do a little swatch on one of these. This kind of looks like the swatch that I did. Do you see that? This one is in the shade Yes. Okay, so it seems a little bit lighter or like more sheer than the Bite Beauty. So this is the Joa one and then the one next to it, of course, is the Bite Beauty. Uh, it looks a little bit more pink than the Bite Beauty one, but feels super creamy. I mean, the packaging is really cute though. I like how the color is like right on the cap. And like with the gold, I think it's cute. Thank you so much, Doa Beauty. I'm always super grateful to all the brands who send me packages. I don't always share it, like even on this channel or on Instagram anymore, just because I, I feel like, I don't know, a lot of you guys don't really enjoy like the long stories of PR. I feel like it's just gotten so old and boring over the years, to be honest. So I'd rather just show new makeup that I'm excited about in my videos, like testing new makeup, or if I feel like, you know, I'm not gonna use this, I'd rather just like give it away. And then I feel like it's still, in a way free promo for brands because like if i give it away to friends family to you guys i feel like you guys are still like if you like the product you'll go out and buy it you know you're getting exposed to new brands and new products as well so yeah i feel like a lot of brands probably get annoyed when pr is being given away but i just feel like it's super unrealistic to use every single product that is sent in pr and like 
uh, for me at least like super unfair because it's like we already well for me I already have so much makeup I'm like I gotta give some of it away so I try to go through my makeup new stuff that I get and like be realistic like okay am I really gonna use this if I feel like I'm only gonna use it like once or twice for a video then I'm just gonna pass and give it away because it's like not even worth it so I'm gonna end this vlog here I am gonna clean my room up a little bit and then I'm gonna head wait I didn't even show you what I got from H&M hold on wait a minute did I even show you I'm sorry my Boot crack is like coming out like crazy. Legit, only got three things from H and M, but I'm still gonna show you. Got this super cute cropped hoodie, which I feel like would be really cute with maybe like some leggings, like to work out. Mostly, I got this now that it's gonna be a little bit cooler, is because I've been going to the gym like super early and it's like really cold. So I got this in a size medium. And this one was only $12.99. Really good deal. This material is actually like really nice too. It's like warm. I should probably just put it on for you real quick. Hold on. Okay, so I just tried this on. And you guys probably can't tell because it's like black on black. But this is legit broken on the side. It's like ripped. I really love this hoodie too. It's like super cute. And I didn't realize when it was in the store. And I tried it on and I didn't notice that it was like that. I was just like, oh yeah, it fits. And then that's it. So... I'm like debating if I should just try to fix it or take it back because it was on clearance so I don't even know if they'll take it back at this point but um yeah this is what I got super cute though it is nice material like it's like thick but yeah it's like literally ripped right here on the side but maybe that's why it was on sale okay this is the next piece that I got just like a super cute like knit shirt sweater sorry like I have my bodysuit underneath of this so it looks kind of strange around my stomach but yeah just really cute this with like some high-waisted skinny jeans i kind of look like a little boy right now with my hair <laughs> it's gonna look much cuter once my makeup is done got everything in a size medium by the way and this was 17.99 so a little bit more pricey but it's cute and this last shirt you can see was 9.99 i love when stuff's like 9.99 it's like my favorite price oh this is so cute this with like a little skirt or something it's just like a long sleeve kind of vibe obviously i would wear this with like something high-waisted but Loving it. Okay, so I am just gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna shower and just relax for the night. Probably like watch movies or something. I don't know. Me and Hector are literally like grandma and grandpa. We go to bed at like 8.39 because we've been waking up earlier in the mornings. But yeah, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm sorry if it was just a bunch of nothing, but lots more giveaways coming i'm gonna be planning lots of not just holiday giveaways but just like random giveaways on this channel on instagram on my main channel so make sure you have your post notifications on you're subscribed you're following me everywhere just so you can get all the updates i plan on also doing my christmas shopping like much earlier this season because last time or last year and all the years honestly i always wait till last minute it's like super stressful and i'm gonna try to do maybe vlogmas this year so i want to try to get stuff done ahead of time so We'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in a few days in my next vlog. Bye!